Hello and welcome to this demo of Browsher's Features. What you can see right now is a, a normal TMUX session. With, uh, in the left pane we've got Vim. As it happens I'm doing a little bit of programming in Browse. In the top right I've got some of Browse's logs. They're not relevant. And in the bottom right um, Browse itself. Um, so let's say I'm doing some programming in Browse and I get a bit stuck and uh, I don't know the difference between key press and key down let's say now what I can do is I can uh, focus uh, my browse pane and, and press control L as you would in a normal browser uh, to focus the URL bar and then I can type a normal uh, Google search uh, difference between key press and key down press return uh, that, that loads up the, uh, the Google search and I can just press on the link as it would uh, a normal uh, link as you would in a normal browser that loads up Stack Overflow takes a couple of seconds to figure itself out and um, here we have the accepted answer I can tell it's the accepted answer because this little sort of bit of green <laughs> and that's only because I've, I've used Stack Overflow so many times before uh, but nevertheless, it's nice to have that visual cue if I recognize it. Um, so that's very useful. Now let's uh, focus, let's enlarge this TMUX pane just so we can focus on Browse itself and um, uh, increase the font size here just so we can really uh, see what uh, Browse is capable of. Um, so now I'm going to load some tabs up that I loaded up earlier. Uh, control tab again, as you would in a normal browser, takes me into this YouTube page to a video that you might recognise. Uh, I bet you didn't realise you were going to get Rick rolled, but there we are. Uh, I'm going to pause that because um, I can hear it in my headphones. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that's a, a demonstration of how uh, Browse updates in real time with some basic graphics. Control tab again, and here we have an online sketch app. Uh, so I, I can use my mouse to, um, no I need to change the color first, so I click on the palette, I, I choose black, I undo that, so let's see if I can, whoa, um, now there's some there's some strange calligraphy going on here but uh, I, I can draw maybe I can I oh know that's not right I change the, the color uh, and so it's just an example of how um, oh, I can I can even move the slider here to make the size bigger so does that draw oh smaller that changes the size of the brush so you can do some fairly technical intricate stuff with browse uh, again this is all in your terminal so controlling tab again so this page has got a bit stuck in the resize so I can press control R and if you look in the bottom left it says loading and we're reloading this page and this is the login to a slack instance uh, in particular kubernetes which I've been using recently for browse as it happens um, and I can log in this is, this is a normal input form I log in uh, I can't press tab yet I, I still have to click with the mouse these input boxes can be a bit hard to find somewhere without visual cues so remember my password uh, and then I can just press return no I can't I have to click with my mouse or indeed or indeed oh there we are okay um, and so now we're loading up a, a slack instance um, now again this might be something that people find useful um, because this can this can all be run on a um, on a remote VPS somewhere um, so there's some strange artifacts here which I, I don't fully and this browse still has some uh, uh, issues to, to iron out but just to give you a demo that you can I've been chatting 
here earlier with the Slack bot. So just to give you a demo that you can chat and, and see uh, messages in real time, you know. So if I if I say hello to Slack bot and I have to, if I press normal return, then I get a, I get a new line and I can send a longer message. But if I press alt return, uh, then uh, it sends the message. I say hello and then Slackbot responds with hello back. And I can say other things to Slackbot. What can I think? Help. And uh, Slackbot will offer me some help. So there we are. Um, those are some of the main features of Browse. I hope that inspires you to give it a go. Bye for now.